Hello my friends, welcome back. Here is the next part in our series where we are comparing Scratch and Python just so you can start to see the blocks that we're using in Scratch, what that looks like in Python, and vice versa if you are a Python user and trying to wrap your head around Scratch. And so in the last episode we looked at how do we create a variable. For this one we want to look at how do we increment a variable, meaning how do we change the value, how do we add um, a number to it, how do we decrease? So let's take a look at that. Um, and we're going to dive into this here in Scratch. But when we're in Scratch, we actually have a block that allows us to change our variable. And we can change that by any number that we want, which we'll show you here in just a minute. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy to use, um, and it's not overly complicated. And I would say the same thing happens in Python. In Python, we can simply add a value to our variable by reassigning our variable um, with a new number. And there's two ways we can do that. Uh, one, as you can see here, just adding or subtracting the value. Or we can do it this way here, kind of with the plus equal equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at actually what this looks like within these platforms. And so if we look here within so if we look here within Scratch, and this is our code that we had from before, kind of from our previous video where we went, as you remember, we went to our variable section, we made a variable, I called it lettuce, we talked about the blocks here, we set our lettuce to 32, so we run that, the cat's going to say 32 just like we see here. We now have these other blocks that we can use. And so this change lettuce allows us to change our variable. And we can change this to whatever we want. We can actually put an equation in here. So if I did one, it should say 33, right? If I say uh, negative four, it's going to drop it down. So we can see the equation within here. Eventually, we can have another variable that we could drop in here. Uh, besides just numeracy, we can get into operators and have it make different decisions within these blocks. So we can start to get pretty complicated to do the things that we want uh, when we're ready. So you can see the shape, this kind of circle lets us know that any of these round circular type blocks will fit in there. Where this one here kind of has these angled pieces that would not fit. So just things for us to be aware of when we're working within Scratch. So for now, we would just add this change variable block, and we can make this whatever. So if, once again, I make that 8, it's going to tell me it's 40. Pretty straightforward within Scratch. Now, if we were to take the same concept and apply it over to Python, Python, and here is our code from last time where we created a variable. We made lettuce work 23, and then we printed this text here, lettuce is worth, and then our variable, we knew that we got this thing where it printed out that my lettuce is worth 23. Now, if we want to change that, one of the things that we can do here is we can add a new line here. Just like we had with the block and scratch, we can say lettuce is going to be worth lettuce plus one. All right, and when we do that, we're going to get this. I'll show you here in just a minute. When we go to run this module, oh, let's actually, let's, let's print this here so we have this. So we can see. So we're just going to add this print. What is, is now worth, and then whatever it's going to show us here in the equation. So we should see... Lettuce is worth 23, and then we should see another one that says lettuce is now worth 24. So let's go ahead and run that. We're going to save this. There we go. Lettuce is worth 23. Lettuce is now worth 24. So another way that we can do the same exact equation here, if we want to do the same thing as this, and we want to write it differently, we could run it this way. Lettuce plus or equals to 1. We could run that format as well. These do the exact same thing, just two different ways for us to think about how we run our code here. So you can see here we've got lettuces worth 23, then 24, then 25. And so we could do this here. Let's do a negative. Actually, we wouldn't do a negative here, right? We're going to do a minus equals. And we should have it drop in numbers. Let's take a look here. 
There we go, 23, 24, 14. So you can start to see the similarities in, in what we're doing here. So again, if we pull this up and I look at these blocks here, and I look at my Python here, we've got the similar things, right? Lettuce equals 23, that's saying lettuce to this block, right? The print is equal to our say, and our change, changing our variable, that's what we did here and here, so just different ways. But once again, very similar in approach, and hopefully you're starting to see that these blocks and the Python coding are pretty similar. All right, my friends, as always, let me know what you think, thoughts, questions, ideas, leave a comment in the video notes, and until next time, stay on.